Hi children, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second video of the topic series Algebraic Fractions. In this topic we are going to discuss about the addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions. Before we move up to algebraic fraction, let's try to understand how to solve a simple fraction because that would be the building blocks to simplify an algebraic fraction as well. For example, if you get to simplify 2 over 5 plus 3 over 7, what is the usual technique we have used is we, have to, we took the LCM of the denominator. If you take 5 and 7, the LCM would be 5 into 7. And uh, how to fill up the numerator? So, you know that the denominator is 5 into 7. I will teach you the simple technique to identify what is the proper, uh, proper filling up of this numerator. Okay, this is the way of doing it, right. Initially, take the numerator, we have to take the first term as 2, we have to multiply as 2 into. What is the number to be filled up? How does this 2 came? Because the number at the beginning is 2, that is 2 over 5. The two, take the 2 from there, right, okay. They take 2 into now the denominator is uh, LCM of 5 and 7 is 5 into 7, right? The denominator of 2 over 5 is how much? That is 5. Just cover 5 from 5 into 7. What is the remaining term? That is 7. Then multiply 2 with 7, okay? Then let's come up to the next term. That is plus 3. Take the intermediate operation as well. Plus 3 into. Now what is the denominator of 3 over 7? That is 7. Now cover 7 from that denominator 5 into 7. If you cover 7, what would be the answer? The remaining, sorry, if you cover 7, yeah. The denominator, uh, the remaining term from that uh, LCM would be 5. Therefore, you can multiply 3 into 5. Now simplify. 2 into 7 is 14. 3 into 5 is uh, 15. If you simplify this, you'll be getting the answer as 29. The denominator would be 5 into 7, 35. Hopefully, you understood this concept. Now let's uh, verify this learned contents from this question as well. We have to add 5 over 10 plus 7 over 12, right. Now we need to take what is the LCM, right. If you take 10, that is 2 into 5 and if you take 12, it's 2 into 2 into 3. So take the common terms and the rest of the terms. If you are not much familiar about how to find this LCM, refer my first video algebraic fractions 1 I will mention the uh, link at the below description box and as well as it will be pop up at the top of the screen as a suggestion video as well with that you can obtain the LCM as 60 right okay now the 60 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 okay when you write in the denominator in the next step write that expansion version of the uh, LCM for 10 and 12. That would be easier for you to understand to do this question, right? Okay. Now, the denominator in the next step is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now, take the first term that is 5 over 10. Now, take 5 in the numerator. You are going to fill up with the numerators. 5 into. Now, uh, the denominator was 10. No? 10 is 2 into 5. Now, cover 2 into 5 from that selected uh, denominator. Out of 2 into 2 into 3 into 5, if you cover 1, 2 and 1, 5, the remaining term is 2 into 3. Then multiply 5 times of 2 into 3. Now let's move to the next one, that is plus 7. 7 into, now cover the expansion version or the terms for 12. 12 is 2 into 2 into 3, cover 2 into 2 into 3 from the denominator, the selected one, not the second step, right? Okay, if you cover that, what the remaining term would be 5. Then you can write... The numerator is 5 into 2 into 3 is 30, plus 7 into 5 is 35, it would be 65 over 60. That is, uh, you can simplify further, but here our main objective is to, uh, how to simplify this uh, fraction. So, therefore, you can write the answer 65 over 60. Okay, children, now we are moving up to simplify algebraic fraction. First, I will take a simple algebraic fractions 2 over x plus 3 over y, right? Initially, we have to take the LCM of x and y. LCM of x and y is xy. I will write it as x into y. Now, we are going to fill up the numerator, right? Okay, that is 2 over x. Take 
2 then from the numerator 2 into now from the denominator x into y cover that denominator that is you have to cover x what is the remaining term that is y then you can multiply 2 into y now move up to the next term plus 3 now cover y from the denominator uh, x into y so if you cover y the remaining term is x that is 3 into x so you can say the final answer would be 2y plus 3x divided by xy let's move up to the next example as well here uh, this uh, the term we have to add is 2 over 3x plus 3 over 2x right now we want to take the lcm of 3x and 2x that would be 2 into 3 into x okay now what we need to do is we will take the first term 2 over 3x now 2 into numerator is 2 2 into now cover 3x from the that selected denominator or other than that called the lcm out of lcm is 2 into 3 into x out of that cover 3 into x the remaining term is 2 so you can write 2 into 2 plus 3 into now cover 2x from that the denominator if you cover 2x what are the remaining term is 3 that is 3 into 3 if you simplify this you will obtain the answer as 13 over 6x in this example we have to add 2 over 6x plus 3 over 10x right initially identify the lcm of the two denominators 6x and 10x that is 6x is 2 into 3 into x and 10x is 2 into 5 into x out of that if you select the common terms and the remaining terms you can say the lcm would be 2 into 3 into 5 into x that is 30x okay now when you write in the denominator in the next step write this expansion version this is the technique we are using to get the answer much easily that is write the denominator as 2 into 3 into 5 into x okay now take the first term 2 over 6x the denominator is 6x now cover 6x 6x is 2 into 3 into x from this denominator if you cover 2 into 3 into x the remaining term is only 5 then you can write 2 into 5 plus 3 into how much now the denominator is 10x therefore cover 10x from this denominator what is 10x 2 into 5 into x cover 2 into 5 into x from this denominator what is the remaining term remaining term is 3 then you can write 3 into 3 now if you simplify 2 into 5 is 10 plus 3 into 3 is 9 that should be 19 over denominator is 30x that is the simplest way of doing this question from next question i make this question a little bit advanced let's try to understand the concept much clearly right okay the sum is to simplify 2 over 6x plus 3 over x squared right let's try to understand the lcm for 6x and x squared so that would be 6x squared this is the way of getting it if you are not familiar uh, initially watch my first video algebraic fractions 1 the next step is to write the denominator denominator is 6x squared but when you write in the denominator you used to write this expansion version of 6x squared that is 2 into 3 into x into x right now uh, you have to fill up the numerators that is 2 into that is 6 over 2x uh, 2 over 6x from the architect 2 into cover 6x from this denominator if you cover 6x the remaining term is x it will turn up to 2 into x plus 3 into now cover x squared from this denominator if you cover x squared the remaining term is 2 into 3 so you can write 3 into 2 into 3 if you simplify 2 into x is 2x plus 3 into 2 into 3 is 18 2x plus 18 over 30x so you can see both the denominator and numerator you can cancel by 2 with that you can write a simplified version that is x plus 9 over 15x hopefully you understood how to get this uh, how to simplify this algebraic fraction Now let's to simplify this question. It is 5 over 6x plus 3 over 4y. What you need to do is take the LCM of 6x and 4y. If you take the LCM of 6x and 4y, 
the answer is 12xy right then when you write in the denominator write the expansion version that is 2 into 2 into 3 into x into y right now first step 5 over 6x now cover that 6x that is 2 into 3 into x out of this denominator if you cover 1 2 1 3 and 1 x from this denominator the remaining term would be 2 into y so therefore you can write 5 into 2 into y plus 3 into now cover 4y what is 4y is 2 into 2 into y cover 2 into 2 into y from this denominator the remaining term is 3x with that you can say 3 into 3 into x if you simplify 5 into 2 into y is 10y plus 3 into 3 into x is 9x over 12xy so that is the final answer for this algebraic addition if you move up to the next question 5 over 6x plus 3 over 4x squared okay now we need to find the lcm of 6x and 4x squared if you work out with that the lcm would be 12x squared right then write 12x squared in the expansion version that is 2 into 2 into 3 into x into x right then cover 6x from the denominator that is 2x therefore you can write 5 into 2x plus the next term is 4x squared cover 4x squared that is you have to cover 2 into 2 into x into x from this denominator if you cover that you will receive the answer only the remaining term is 3 so therefore you can multiply with 3 into 3 if you simplify you will obtain the answer as 10x plus 9 is a numerator and the final answer is 10x plus 9 over 12xy that is the final answer for this question okay children in this question we need to add 5 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2 if you take the LCM the denominators are x plus 1 and x plus 2 so you can write x plus 1 into x plus 2 okay then the then we have to fill up the numerators 5 into from where the 5 came 5 over x plus 1 5 into now cover the denominator x plus 1 from this denominator if you cover x plus 1 the remaining is x plus 2 so that is 5 times of x plus 2 plus 3 into now cover that denominator x plus 2 if you cover the x plus 2 from this denominator remaining is x plus 1 that is 3 into x plus 1 okay now we can simplify 5x plus 10 that is the 5 into x plus 2 plus 3 into x plus 1 is 3x plus 3 if you simplify you will obtain the answer 5x plus 3x is 10 8x plus 10 plus 3 is plus 13 so your final answer is 8x plus 13 over x plus 1 into x plus 2 sometimes you may not need of putting this multiplication in the denominator since it, those are two uh, multiplication between two fractions uh, two uh, terms with the brackets right okay let's come with the next question that is 5 over x minus 1 plus 3 over x plus 3 right okay the denominator or the common uh, common term or the lcm for this denominator would be x plus x minus 1 into x plus 3 okay then 5 times of cover that denominator x minus 1 then the remaining term is x plus 3 so the numerator turn up to 5 times of x plus 3 plus 3 times of now cover that denominator x plus 3 from the common denominator LCM the remaining is x minus 1 that is 3 into x minus 1 therefore if you rem uh, remove the brackets you will obtain the answer 5x plus 15 plus 3x minus 3 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 so if you simplify 5x plus 3x is 8x plus 15 minus 3 is plus 12 over x plus 1 into x plus 2 that is the final answer for this question now let's come up with this question here we need to simplify 5 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 1 squared if you get the LCM of x plus 1 and x plus 1 squared that would be x plus 1 squared you can write the denominator as x plus 1 into x plus 1 right then if you come up with the first term that is 5 over x plus 1 
the denominator is x plus 1 cover x plus 1 that is another x plus 1 remain therefore you can write 5 into x plus 1 plus 3 into now the other denominator is x plus 1 into x plus 1 so if you cover 2x plus 1 from this expression nothing remain over there in that case just keep 3 or you can write 3 into 1 so if you simplify with that you will obtain the answer 5x plus 5 plus 3 with that you can write the final answer as 5x plus 8 that is the final answer for this question the next question is to simplify 5x over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 squared right if you want to add these two terms initially to identify the LCM if you take the LCM for these two that would be x plus 1 squared into x plus 2 so you can get the answer uh, yeah how to fill up these numerators right then uh, 5 into cover that denominator x plus 2 from this uh, common denominator of the LCM term if you cover 1 x plus 2 the remaining is x plus 1 squared so you can write 5 into x plus 1 squared plus 3 into cover that x plus 1 squared from this denominator its remaining is x plus 2 so if you re, uh, expand the brackets and if you simplify you will obtain the answer 5 times of x plus 1 squared is x plus 1 into x plus 1 if you expand the bracket you will obtain the answer x squared plus 2 x plus 1 plus 3 times of x plus 2 so if you expand the bracket you will obtain the answer as uh, 5x squared plus 13x plus 11 over x plus 1 into x plus 2 hopefully you have understood how to do this question in this example we have to simplify three terms at stretch that is 5 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 2 minus 2 over x plus 3 if you take the LCM that is x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 so if you put it there their denominator as x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 right okay now with the first term 5 into cover that denominator x plus 1 from this common denominator the remaining terms are x plus 2 and x plus 3 so therefore we can write 5 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 the next term plus 3 times of cover that x plus 2 from the denominator the remaining terms are x plus 1 into x plus 3 then minus 2 times of that denominator is x plus 3 if you cover x plus 3 from the common denominator the remaining terms are x plus 1 into x plus 2 right then you will obtain the answer as shown in the second step then we can remove the brackets it would be turned up into 5 times of x squared plus 5x plus 6 that is expansion of x plus 2 into x plus 3 plus 3 times of x squared plus 4x plus 3 that is expansion of x plus 1 into x plus 3 minus 2 times of expansion of x plus 1 into x plus 2 is x squared plus 3x plus 2 right if you simplify you obtain the answer 6x squared plus 31x plus 35 divided by x plus 1 into x plus 2 into x plus 3 that would be the final answer for this question but sometimes uh, you may be able to factorize this numerator and simplify the denominator that is kind of later we can learn with those advanced simplification for the moment this is how you need to obtain the answer okay children if you want to simplify this uh, algebraic addition 5 over x plus 1 plus 3 over x plus 1 squared minus 5 over x plus 2 initially we need to identify the lcm the lcm would be x plus 1 squared into x plus 2 right then write the expanded version of this common denominator that is x plus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 right then the first 5 into if you cover x plus 1 from this denominator another x plus 1 and x plus 2 remain so therefore you can write 5 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus 3 times of here the denominator is x plus 1 squared so you have to cover 2 x plus 1s then the remaining is x plus 2 so you can write 3 into x plus 2 minus 5 times of that denominator is x plus 2 if you cover x plus 2 the remaining is x plus 1 into x plus 1 so you will obtain the expression as shown in the uh, second step so 
then we have to remove the brackets 5 into x squared plus 3x plus 2 that is the expansion of x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus 3 times of x plus 2 there is nothing to expand just write the answer that step minus 5 into the expansion of x plus 1 into x plus 1 would be x squared plus 2x plus 1 then you can add up the square term separately linear term separately and constant term separately you will obtain the final answer as 8x plus 11 over x plus 1 squared into x plus 2 hopefully you have understood how to do this question hope the theory is taught in this video is clear with you if you like this video put a thumbs up and Share this video with your friends. To watch more educational videos, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. See you from next videos. Thank you.